My name is Adrian Nanchev, and this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification right next to it for the latest uploads. Now, you've got so many passions, how do you know which one to do? How do you know which one is for you? It's quite simple really. At the start of the year, or any time of the year really, define your 25 goals, 25 things you want to accomplish, right? And then from those things, whittle it down to five. So these five things you want to accomplish. These five things is your to-do list. These other 20 things is your not to-do list. In your year, focus purely on these five things. And don't do what I do, is when you complete one of these, at replace it with one of these from the other 20, add it there. No, get rid of these five first, work on those only. Because those five things will determine what you care about and what you want to do and what difference you want to make in the world. Because you see, you have a lot of passions, but you want to give each passion one to three or so months. One to three months to experiment, to test, see what kind of results you get. Because you can, you can do whatever you want in life, provided you, do, provided you fulfill these two requirements. One, whatever you do, you've got to be happy. Happy. Happiness. 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 It's an emotional requirement, you see. If you're not happy, you're stressed, you're tired out, you're, you, you're grumpy, you're not enjoying your time. You must be happy. Another thing, that these are symbiotic, you've got to be competent with what you're doing. If you're not competent at it, you're not going to see the fruits of your labour. You're going to be frustrated. You're not going to see results. You must be happy and competent. You can't, be one or the, you can't have one without the other. They, they work in tangent. They work together. Not separately, they work together. So understand that. Happiness and competent, and your five goals with regards to your passion. Because I have tried a lot of different things over the past few years. MLM, Forex, binary options, property investing, um, probably a few other things as well. And it's like, some of them have worked, minuscule, some of them have failed, quite bad. Like MLM, didn't really go far with that. And it's like, you can, through a process of elimination, you can try working on your goals and try working on your passions. Perhaps you've got five passions and pick one major goal for each one and work on it. Okay? And then through a process of elimination you'll realise subtly, subconsciously, or physically or whatever that this isn't for me. This passion is not me. This is I don't wanna I don't like this. I don't enjoy this. I haven't got the patience for that. That's the problem I had with, with Forex. I didn't have the patience for it. Very easy. But I didn't have the patience for it. It's like, I placed a trade. Okay, now, we'll just get get over with. Come on, get over with. And MLM, oh, don't get me started on that. Some of them are really scammy. And some of them are just, like, so laborious. It's like, no, thank you. No doubt effective, but it's like, uh, not quite for me, no. Um, property investing, property uh, property, uh, property trade investing, high barrier to entry. And it's like, looking back, I'm thinking in hindsight, it's like, mm, maybe in property investing, isn't there isn't quite a good hedge against inflation, so it's a good like defensive asset, but a bit of an offensive asset, not quite. Uh, so I tried it though as an experimenter, and it's like kind of settled, settled on e-commerce, and kind of settling on like personal brand, writing books, and bu build, building reputation around myself, like, from a grassroots level, onwards, upwards, podcast, and book, and beyond, and it's like, that's good. Because you, you want to have your passion, and whatever you're doing, based on your strengths, and your ability, and your talent, because you don't want to build anything on your weaknesses. You want to find out what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are and double down on your strengths. Magnify and magnify your strengths and cover and protect your weaknesses. Don't rely on your weaknesses. Don't build on your weakness. Build only on your strengths. And if you've got any weaknesses, say in administration or bookkeeping, for example, or anything else like that, outsource it. One mentor of mine told me you want to outsource before you're comfortable to do so. And that's very important. You want to be able to outsource, and I'm trying to work on this myself as well, outsource what you're not comfortable at or what you're not good at to somebody else that's trustworthy and capable and, and happy and competent to do the work and let them do the job so you can focus on your stuff easier and, and do it more productive. Focusing on income producing activity within your passion. And and passion wise, you want to find the one that's right for you and latch on to it. Latch onto it and be known for it. Latch onto it and go with it forever. That's what you're going to be known for, to be known, liked and trusted with regards to that specific thing. 
you don't want to be doing loads of different things all over the place because that's the big mistake I made in 2016. I was all over the place doing these different things, writing a book, MLM, property investing. Too much stuff and not too much activity, too many things and not much got done. Disaster. Now in 2017, I'm much more slowly focusing it down more and more. And now doing these videos, I want to finish off this book and then jumping onto Udemy courses to do a bunch of those. Get the book finished by the end of the year, do all these courses by the end of the year, do these loads of videos for the next for the next month or so. And it's like, yes, plenty of stuff all around me. And I've got a massive to-do list of things of amplifying what I already know. I've heard these ideas or strategies and it's like, oh, we'll do this, we'll implement this strategy, implement this technique, implement that, implement this, implement that. And it's like doing bit by bit, pushing it all out. So it's like, so it's like um, pushing it all out there. Um, so that's what you want to do, you want to find your one focus and, and latch onto it and don't be distracted by other things. See, one, one way of avoiding shiny object syndrome, which a lot of entrepreneurs have, is simply to raise your standard. Raise your standard by asking yourself like one of these, a few questions, really, like, like I use them as benchmarks and like minimum standards. One of them is, how can I do the work once and get paid forever in the context of my passion? For example, I'm recording a video once, uploading it once. I'm gonna write a book once. Uploading it once. I'm going to put it online once. I'm going to create a course once, upload it once, and promote it again and again and again, which is a lot easier than doing all the work. But I'm, I'm creating it once, and all I'm doing is I'm like spinning. It's like a it's like a wheel, an upside down bicycle. I'm spinning the wheel once. It moves. It spins. Whatever. That's profit. And then it starts to slow down. Then you spin it again. When people say getting passive income and living on a beach with sipping a pina colada is not possible is actually wrong. It's actually very true. It's very doable, but the challenge you're going to face is is maintaining it. Because that wheel, you can spin it once, and it goes really fast, but over time, it will slow down. And you have to maintain that speed. So every now and then, you have to push it out there and push it out there again. Get things spinning and get, thing, get momentum going again. So that's why you need to push things out constantly. Um, no, um, you need to maintain it. So it is possible to have you know, doing the work once and getting paid forever in the context of your passion. Another thing I would ask and uh, quiz, quiz yourself about your passion is, uh, how can I be ambitious but lazy in what I'm doing? So how can I be ambitious, ambitious to go far and do some really cool, exciting things with my passion, but I'm lazy, so how can I find the most efficient, most leveraged, most shortcut, most straightforward way of achieving just specifically that? How can I do just that? And it's like, well, that requires a bit of thinking and a little bit of thought process. Uh, one other idea I have is uh, jobs don't have futures, people do. <coughs> jobs do not have futures, people do. Meaning, the world is always changing, so jobs come and go, but you are the only one that matters. So how can you wrap this passion around you? Or what's this passion got to do with you? Why? What, what's the reason you're doing this passion? Why are you choosing to do this? Why, why, why? Everything you do is going to start with why. Because you see, jobs come and go, as I said. But if you have something you care about, you're competent at, and you have a big reason, a big purpose behind it, then that's going to help you through for the future. Another thing worth considering is that why climb the corporate ladder when you can own it? Why climb corporate ladder like people would have done in the 1950s and all the rest and 60s and who knows what else but if you, if you own the ladder instead from default and build the ladder up you're at the top you're at the top of the ladder from day one and even though the ladder is small but you're building it up yourself you're at the top still own the ladder don't climb the ladder how cool is that so my question to you today is the question of the day is uh, what is your passion what is your passion my passion is, I suppose it's teaching really. I uh, started this, this channel is all about helping entrepreneurs become remarkable. Because about a year ago, in July of 2016, I was at my grandfather's funeral. And as I was going there, I was thinking, not many people are going to be there. It's going to be quite empty. It was quite unremarkable life. Not, not many people are going to be there. I was gladly, humbly proven wrong. There was quite a few people there. I couldn't get 40, 50 people or so. And it's like that to me realise that everyone can become remarkable and have a remarkable life. 
it's just not everyone knows how to or, or they don't know how to do it or they don't think they can do it or they don't have the knowledge to do it or the confidence and it's like that's it that's where my knowledge where I want to talk about it and share it overlaps with the world that's where the overlap is become remarkable that's what I'm doing so my passion is helping a million entrepreneurs become remarkable and that's what this channel is about helping a million entrepreneurs become remarkable so go out there today today and do something remarkable how cool is that but in the meantime however click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification right next to it for the latest uploads how cool is that